friends, welcome back to our channel. I'm Steph. And I am Michelle. And today we have a fun DIY spring wreath using inexpensive garden supplies. To get started on this DIY spring wreath, you will need a few supplies and it can be made really inexpensively with supplies from the dollar store. So that's always a bonus. So the first thing you'll need are eight garden trowels, a 12 inch floral ring, ribbon, craft wire, E6000 glue, and tree pruners. This is optional and you'll see why in just a minute. And then a little piece of cardboard or a four inch wood circle. At first we weren't anticipating the need to trim the handles of the trowels, but when we placed them on the floral ring, they were just a little bit too long, about half an inch. And the reason being is they were overlapping and that was not gonna work when we went to attach them to the floral ring. So we tried to think of the easiest way to cut these and we got the tree loppers out and they cut super easy because they were just plastic handles. So you can definitely try this method. If you don't have tree loppers, you can try a saw or maybe even easier yet, you may not need to trim your handles depending how large they are. For this DIY spring wreath, we decided to use E6000 glue because it is such a great all-purpose glue. It works well on plastics, wood, and metal. So you'll want to begin by layer, laying out the trowels for this wreath and evenly space them around on the floral ring. We discovered that we needed to prop up the metal portion to keep them level when we placed them on the floral ring. So we just put a little towel under each of them. Then we placed a small amount of E6000 glue at the base of the handle where the metal and the plastic meet and allowed the glue to dry completely. The next step is to secure the ends of the handles together. At first we were planning to run a ribbon or cord through the holes of the handles but after we ran into the issue of needing to trim them, we needed to figure out a new method. So we cut a cardboard box in about a four inch circle and um, punched two holes in the center. Then we applied more of the E6000 glue on the cardboard circle and placed it in the center of the DIY spring wreath right on top of the handles. Then just to make sure that it adhered well, we placed a couple of books on it to dry to just keep it weighted down. Then using our wired ribbon, we made a 10 loop bow. To do this, you're just going to take the ribbon, make a loop and then twist the end and form your other loop and again twist the ribbon and do this five times on each side being sure to twist the ribbon before you make each additional loop. As you're forming the bow you can kind of fluff the loops here and there to get it to the shape that you want. Then you'll take a piece of wire and secure the bow together and you'll want to make sure this is snug and it um, holds down that very first loop that you created so the bow does not come apart. Finally, thread the wire through each of the holes and secure it on the back of the cardboard. Now because this wreath is placed on the front porch and it's protected from the elements, we were able to use cardboard. If however, your wreath will be exposed to rain or any of the elements, you might want to use a thin piece of wood or something else that's not going to get ruined um, by the elements. Finally, fluff the wired ribbon and hang and enjoy. You can leave it just like this, which is in our opinion, darling, 
but you can also do this one final step that we decided to do to just give it a little bit more texture. We decided to finish this cute DIY spring wreath off with wrapping this wood floral ring with some jute. So again, it's the same color as the floral ring, but it's just giving it a little bit of added texture and um, interest to the wreath. Simply start by tying a piece of jute behind one of the trowel handles and just wrap it around the floral ring nice and tight so that the jute is next to, to itself. And then as you get to each of the different sections in between the trowels, you can um, add a little bead of hot glue just to keep uh, the jute in place as well. Now you can hang your wreath and enjoy it. So aside from the drying time for the glue, this wreath really does go together pretty quickly and we think it turned out pretty cute. It's kind of like a reverse sunflower because it's got the black petals and the yellow middle. So kind of fun, little different take, modern sunflower maybe. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share. And be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our DIY home decor videos. Thanks so much for watching. And as always here at Sunnyside Design, we hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the streets.